Okay, so to keep going with mirrors and lenses, um, what kind of mirror is shown and how do you know? Um, well, what I see here is that this is a guy looking into the mirror and the image that he sees of himself is large and upright. Um, and if you also look um, carefully, and you kind of have to look at the, uh, at the image in the computer rather than the print off of this, um, in the background is an upside down room. So there's the light um, and there's the floor. So what we have here is a large virtual upright image in the foreground and a uh, inverted real image in the background. Um, so this is looking on the inside of the spoon, looking into the spoon. So this is going to be a um, concave mirror. Um, next is a lens produces a sharply focused inverted image on the screen. What will you see on the screen if the lens is removed? Um, if you remove the lens, then you get rid of the fact that a real image has been formed. So there is no more image that is formed. Um, it's just going to be blurry um, and no image is there. Next is a uh, lens produces a, that same sharp focused image on the screen. If you uh, put a piece of paper to cover the top half of the lens, rays will only go through the bottom half of the lens. Um, but you don't need the whole lens to focus an image. So if you, you know, this is easiest to see if you just imagine incoming parallel rays. So I have some incoming parallel rays. Um, I know that this is going to be a converging lens because it produced an image on a screen. And so the only way to get a real image is with the converging lens. Um, so these are all going to come in parallel. And because they all came in parallel, they all leave out through the focal point. And if we put a piece of paper right here, that there will be a big dot right there, and if those rays are all coming from the sun, then you could probably make a fire by putting a piece of paper right there. Um, but all of certainly that's going to be the location where all of the rays cross, so that will be where our in focus image is located. Um, and if I put a piece of paper and block the first half of the and block the top half of these rays, the bottom half of these rays still pass through the lens they still converge in the exact same spot. There's just fewer of them. So we will see the whole image, um, but because there's actually less light passing through the lens, you'll see less of it. Um, uh, next is which lens is converging and which one is diverging. Um, that's your diverging one. And, oops, I'm saying that wrong. That is your diverging one. And that is your converging one. Um, the main reason that I know this is because um, both of these have upright images. So I know that they're both virtual images that I'm looking at. Um, but this one has a image that's smaller than that person's real eyeball. And this one has an image that is larger than that person's real eyeball. So converging uh, real images from converging lenses always make um, objects that are always make images that are bigger than the object and images that are formed from diverging lenses always make virtual images that are smaller. Um, if you want to see that, we've done it in the previous couple of questions as well. So here's three kind of ray diagrams for a diverging lens where you see that for all three of them the object is bigger than the image the object is bigger than the image, the object is bigger than the image. Um, so the diverging lens is always going to have an image that's smaller than the object. So the, the image of the eyeball, which is what you see when you look through the lens, is smaller than the actual eyeball itself. Um, with the converging lens, you can either get a real image, which would look something like that, and um, that would be upside down. Since the eyeball is not upside down, then we know we're not looking at that one. We've got to be looking at this one. Um, and so the eye must be inside the focal point of the lens, which makes sense because the eye is very close to the lens. And we formed uh, an upright um, virtual and larger object there. Sorry, an upright virtual and larger image there. Okay. Um, 
next, kind of a different take on the same exact problem again. So I have uh, a bunch of light rays that are coming in um, to focus at this point one. And the question is saying, now I'm gonna plop this lens, this diverging lens right there. Um, and it just so happens that the focal length of this lens is gonna be right at point one. So as I move this lens to get in the way of these rays that are currently converging, what happens to them? So what we will end up having is a diverging lens right here. And I have a bunch of rays that are coming in toward the focal point of this diverging lens. But because they're coming in toward the focal point, that's one of our three principal rays. I know that the diverging lens will bend them all. Coming in toward the focal point, they will bend and go out parallel. So what ends up happening is that there. Um, for the last question in our mirrors and lenses chapter is, can real images be projected on a screen? What about virtual and can either be photographed? Um, I put this on the review because I was kind of uh, not satisfied with most of the answers that you guys gave on your, on your homework, so I wanted to have a chance to revisit it. Um, so I think we were fine with the first part of this. Real images are the only ones that have real rays crossing. So only real images can be projected onto a screen. Virtual images cannot be seen on a screen. Right? If you, There's nowhere to put the screen where the rays are actually crossing, so you won't be put them on the screen. Both can be photographed. Um, yes, um, and this was fine. Yes, both can be photographed, but um, the reason that they can be photographed is because that photograph, that camera, has a converging lens inside of it, okay? So um, you have some diverging rays coming from either a real or a virtual image. It doesn't matter. At the location of the camera, there are diverging rays, and that camera converges them into a spot um, where the film or the negative or whatever it is that's back here, um, some photo sensor on a, digital, on a digital camera, is actually at this spot, and as long as the rays are converging at that spot, it will see the image. So the reason that the photograph can see virtual images as well as real images is because it focuses both of them into real images. Okay, um, the same thing happens with your eye, right? The reason that you see things from the, your eye, and actually the reason why you cannot tell just by looking at something, whether you're looking at a real or a virtual image, is because whether these rays, this diverging packet of rays that hits the lens, that's your camera's lens or your eye's lens, comes from a real image or a virtual image, it will behave the same way. It will focus those rays into a spot where there is a real image formed.